YouTube, it's your girl turtle and i am back with another video i am doing oh another would you rather video i was going to do a movie star planner or advocate in life but i am super tired from work i just want to do something short and simple so we're just doing that today if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit the bell for post notifications and subscribe so you guys don't miss any videos by me um so because as i keep stating in most of my videos i am giving away three 15 dollars roblox gift card giveaways i will post that on my movie star planet and then i also post it here on the youth my youtube channel so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because it'll be happening around new year's probably um so i want you guys also to make sure you guys give this video a like if this video gets to five likes i'll do another one and also make sure you guys comment down below like what choices you guys pick and why you like decided to go with those choices before we start this video so you guys will not believe what happened to me this morning before i went to work so my cat and my mom and my brother's cat ended up knocking over our christmas tree it was horrible like, I cannot believe that happened. Like, it was really crazy that that even happened. So, I thought I would sh share that with you. So, I had literally had to have help picking up the tree and making sure nothing was broken or anything. Luckily, like, nothing really broke except for, like, one ornament. And I was able to fix it with the was a uh, hot glue gun but earth and they kind of like bented the stand so now the tree won't stand up straight anymore and we've had that tree for like a long time so but anyway <laughs> i thought i'd share that with you guys so if you guys are ready let's go ahead and, and get into this all right guys let's go ahead and get into this Hardest choices would you rather? Oh, I almost forgot to mention from like the first video I did of this, they do go off of like point system, like what kind of like personality you have. I think it's the same channel, so they might have the same uh, point system, but we'll see at the end of the video. If they do that, I'm not sure. I wish you guys could hear the beat right now. This is a nice beat. Yeah, it's so amount that you couldn't choose. So whatever you guys can't pick, yeah, count that. All right, question number one. Oh, that really hurt my ear. I don't think you guys will be able to hear that luckily. That it just had like a loud beep in my ear, like boop. That really hurt. <laughs> All right, would you rather have your bank account hacked, have your phone hacked? Oh, that's a, a ooh. Um, the thing is, with both of these, it's really bad because if you guys really think about it, having your bank account hacked, that would mean they could spend your money. But yeah, I mean, you could close your bank account and talk to your bank like really quick about that as soon as you start noticing the activity and then that person get thrown into jail but having your phone hacked i mean they could still i guess get the person to jail but it's just harder i think to deal with that because you have to go all the way to the service provider like service providers and stuff and deal with that so i think i'd rather have my phone hacked because no hold on i'd rather have my bank account hacked actually because i could easily just call my bank and tell them that there's suspiciousness going on on my uh, bank statements and stuff like i'm getting because i would have it automatically notified on my phone when stuff is getting spent out of my account so because i know a lot of banks can do that i would definitely have that and then i would get a hold of them and tell them hey uh there's some like somebody like you know spending money on my account and then they could either freeze my account or they can close that one out and then get me a new one phone i feel like is a little bit harder a process to get done so i think i'm going to go with a bank account that's like the noise it's playing in the background right now Um. All right, here we go. All right, let's go on to question number two. Please don't beep in my ear. It beeps in my ear. Ow. That really hurt a lot. Would you rather be itchy for the rest of your life, be sticky for the rest of your life? 
Guys, both of these would irritate me so bad because I promise you guys, when I'm itchy, like, it's so hard to ignore that. But then when something's sticky, it's like I have to immediately wash my hands or it just really bothers me when I'm, like, having something sticky on my hands. But between the two, I think I'd rather be itchy because at least they have, like, itch cream and stuff that you could wear. So I'd always be buying that and just putting it on to help relieve the pain, I guess. Um... Because if being sticky, you can't really do anything about that because if even if you wash your hands, it's just going to come back. At least with the, like, if you have, like, itch ointment, like some type of itching cream or something, at least you can apply it and then it either helps it, like, calm it down or it gets rid of it for, like, maybe, like, a couple hours or something. And then you can just keep reapplying it. Plus, my skin be itching all the time because I have really bad allergies and stuff, so I'm kind of used to it. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to itch all the time. So I think I'd have to go with the itching nose just because, like, there is a loophole where you can get, like, itching cream or something. But being sticky, like, there's, like, nothing you can do really about that, in my opinion. That would be very hard to deal with, in my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like, that one's a pretty good one. I, they almost had me there. I wasn't for sure at first, but then I had to think about, like, loopholes and stuff. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I'm very big on finding loopholes, like, for certain situations to get out of certain things. So, yeah. I think I just punched my mic. That really hurt my hand. <laughs> I didn't mean to punch it. Number three. Please, it's going to beep my ear, ain't it? Yes, it did. Ow. Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life or always feel like you're about to sneeze? Um, I'm going to go with the feels like you're about to sneeze because like I said before, I have really bad allergies. So it's like I'm always used to that. And it's like the feel of sneezing. It's not like you're going to. So like as soon as you feel it, it then it goes away. Or maybe because you, you're always feeling that. So can you imagine trying to talk to someone and you're like, <gasps> like you're more bad at like going, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> or for a hiccup, you're like, Every time we talk to someone, you just seem like you're a rude person just because you can't really talk because you got some problem going on. But hiccups, they hurt sometimes in my throat. I don't like the way they feel sometimes. Like, it hurts my chest even. Because I've hiccuped so badly before that I could actually started causing chest pain. So, personally, I would I feel like... Uh, I would like want to sneeze all the time, like feel have the feel to sneeze because I always feel that way anyway because my allergies. To be honest with you, so I'm going to go with the sneezing one. I don't know, that one's a pretty good one. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean, th this part two from the first one, like from the first one to this one, like this one is a little harder. I ain't gonna lie. This one's pretty dang hard. Like, last questions, they were, like, super easy and stuff. Even the movie Star Planet one was easy. This one's actually pretty hard. I'm not even gonna lie. Because they're giving me some pretty good options. All right, number four. But they're giving some pretty good options. I ain't gonna lie. Would you rather live like a king and have no friends and family? Live homeless with friends and family? Okay. The thing is is it just sounds weird though this one's a little weird because you're living homeless but you have friends and family that you can like rely on but then if you're a king it says live like a king it's not saying you are a king though i guess you get like the royaltyness i guess i don't know but having no friends or family see i really got friends anyway Family, that's iffy because I'm very big on family. I don't really have, like, a very big family that I'm, like, really, like, close to like that. But the ones I am, I would hate to get rid of them, to be honest with you. This one's a really hard one. Live homeless with friends and family. Thing is, if you're homeless, though, like, there's loopholes. Like, you can, like, stay at people's houses and stuff, you know? They can borrow clothes. They can get you food, you know? Because I would hate not being able to see my mom, my dad, or my siblings or anything. Because that would be really sad. Because I would miss them very much. I think I'd have to pick live homeless with friends and family. Oh, wait. Does it mean... Does it mean, like, my friends and family are homeless, too? Because that's a lot of homeless people. I feel like there's a good loophole in that one. I think you could probably, like, sleep over at people's houses and stuff. I would rather have my family, though, to be honest. So, I'm going to pick the homeless one. That one's hard, though, because it's just, like, it's very iffy because, like, you don't want to be homeless, but you don't want to be without a family either, you know? Some people might find that uh, no friends or family one a little easier, like, if they're not really close to their family. It wouldn't be that bad for me if I didn't have my siblings and my parents, to be honest with you. 
All right, number five. All right. Would you rather punch Logan Paul in the face or punch KSI in the face? I don't know. Um, I'm about to go with Logan Paul. Because, honestly, I do not like him, really. I don't like either one, but, like, I think I'd rather punch Logan, to be honest with you. I don't know. This one's a little tough. What would you guys pick? I really want to know on this one. Like, which one would y'all pick between these two? Like, I'm very curious to know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I have to go with Logan Paul. I don't like him at all. Like, at all. <clears throat> Number six. All right. Would you rather know when you're going to die? Know how you're going to die? I think I answered this in the last one, actually. So they put up the same question again. <laughs> I think if I believe right, I think I picked a no, like, which one did I pick? When I'm gonna die? Because then I can, pl yeah, that one, I picked that one. Because then I can plan ahead of time to, like, my funeral and stuff so I don't have to leave leave this world without anybody having to worry about how they're going to pay for everything and stuff. But knowing how I'm going to die, it would mess with my brain too much because I would always be, like, looking over my shoulder, like, okay, um like waiting for something to kill me and stuff and I don't want it to so I'd rather know when I'm gonna die because then at least like it's like I can plan ahead of time and stuff like not even to avoid the death because I would never do that like whenever it's my time it's my time but more of like the fact like so my family can plan easier for it I don't know that one I like I said I answered that one last time I think I was pretty like straightforward with that one I don't know what y'all would pick. Like, would you want to know how you die? Like, that'd be really scary. Like, oh, what if, like, you got into a car accident or you drowned or, like, you got shot or something? Like, that would be really horrible to find that out. I think, yeah, definitely I would pick the time. Like, when I'm going to die. Number seven. All right. Where would you rather find a thousand dollars to keep or find one million to donate to charity? Honestly, money is not everything. I explained this before in my last would you rather. Don't get me wrong, a thousand dollars is a lot of money, but at the same time, I can easily get that in more in my income tax every year. And I make really good money where I'm at where I work, even though I work at a restaurant. I make $10 an hour as a uh, server slash cashier with tips. And on average, every two weeks, I make anywhere between like $400 to $500, which means I'm already making about 1000 a month. So it's like, it's not that end of the, it's like not the end of the world for me. If it was like maybe higher, then I would be iffy because then, uh, you know, but a million dollars to donate it to charity. I honestly would pick the money to donate to charity because, um, like, there's, like, a lot of charities, like, that really need, like, support and stuff. I probably won't do, like, certain ones because I feel like I feel a certain type of way about stuff, but I'm not going to get into that. I would probably give it to, like, local animal shelters and stuff, uh, kids with cancer, I would probably do something for, like, the military and stuff. Like, you know, one of those type of things. Like, those are the type of, like, charities I would probably do it for. Yeah, I would definitely donate the money. Only because people... Let me turn that down. People need money more than me, I feel like. And, like I said, money's not an issue for me. I could care less about it. I just need it to pay bills and stuff and survive, which I'm okay. I'm doing all right with what I'm doing. So, I'm not too worried about... A thousand dollars. All right, number eight. Would you rather never be able to shout, never be able to whisper? Uh, <laughs> um. Thing is, I hardly do either one. I'm actually just a normal talker. I barely whisper or shout. 
But honestly, I would rather not be able to shout anymore because I really don't like to yell anyway. Like, shouting is not that big of a deal for me. Like, if I could just talk normally, I could just, like, be a little louder, but, like, not shouting. Like, you can, like, make your voice higher or lower, whatever they want to call it, without shouting. You know what I mean? Like, you could umph your voice up. But not, like, not being able to whisper, it would be, like, horrible. Like, if I'm trying to, like, tell somebody something that I don't want other people to know. Not like I'm, like, gossiping or, like, causing drama. Like, if I wanted to surprise somebody, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be able to, like, not be able to make a surprise. You know what I mean? So, I would be uh, not being able to shout only because I really don't like to shout anyway. I'm more of a normal talker. So, yeah, not being able to shout is my choice. Uh, Y'all, I am so tired. <laughs> like, I'm exhausted right now. Luckily, I'm off tomorrow, so it's all cool. Number nine. Would you rather always be dressed up or always be dressed down? This is easy. I'd rather be dressed down. That's me, like, every day. I hardly dress nice anyway. Like, not even for job interviews. Like, I'm not even that nice when I dress, like, for those. I'm not saying I don't dress, like, to, like, impress. I'm not saying that. But I'm not going to be going to, like, some job interviews. Like, you know. Because you can wear dress down stuff and still look nice in them. It just depends on what you buy. Like, I wore a flower shirt with, like, a regular pair of jeans and some, like, nice, like, uh, boots or whatever. And it wasn't, like, all fancy dress-up. And, you know, I looked really nice for my interview and stuff. I, like, had my hair straightened and stuff, you know? Like, I don't really believe that you should have to, like, be in a whole suit to get a job. Because that's not what your job is qualifying for. It's your skills and the qualifications that you have within yourself in that job field itself. You know what I mean? So I would rather be dressed down always. Plus, like I said, I'm like 95% to 98% always dress normally, like shorts, t-shirts and stuff like that, sweatpants, leggings and stuff. Like, I do not like to wear fancy stuff. Number 10, would you rather have more time, have more money? Um... Honestly, I feel like I'm, I have a good, like, I know I said money is, like, not, like, a big of a deal. Honestly, though, I would rather choose the money on this one because then I can, like, get everything, like, caught up with, like, bills and stuff. I can live more comfortable and stuff. And then I can, like, actually save money so I can finish out college. And then on top of that, like, whenever I have kids, I'll be financially stable enough to take care of them better. You know what I mean? Like, I get, like I said, money is not everything, but if it means, like, I can get more depending on how much more I get, it could really benefit me and my family, more my family than myself, because I'm, like, I always put myself last to my family, so yeah, but more time, it's just, like, time is time, you know. I mean, I'm gonna use every bit of time I have to the fullest, and just asking for more, I just feel is selfish, because you already are blessed to have the time that you get that is given to you, you know what I mean? So you should always make the most of what you have. At least with the money, I can actually benefit more from, and I feel like, you don't get me wrong, I would love to have more time, you know, spend with family and stuff, but at the same time, it's just like, when it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I'll make the most of what I, most of what I have and live with no regrets. But at least having more money, I can make it to where that time is more comfortable at least, you know what I mean? Because it's really stressful trying to pay bills, uh, helping to take care of, like, your little brother and stuff. It's, like, very stressful to do everything that I do. And I'm only 20, going on 21. So, like, it would be nice to have, like, extra money coming in. So, like, it wouldn't be so hard. Alrighty. That one is hard, though. I guess a hard choice. Number 11. Would you rather make a movie about your life, write a book about it? The thing is, though, if you write a book about it, it usually gets turned into a movie. 
And I'd rather write a book about it so people can actually read it. Because you got to keep in mind, you're talking about yourself. Because I'm a writer. I actually do write my own books and stuff that I want to publish one day. But I don't really have one about me like that. Except for the one I wrote for high school for a grade for my uh, finals. But you got to keep in mind, if you write a book about yourself, that would be better than a movie. Because... With a book, you can get into more detail. You can add more to it. Like, when it comes to a movie, you only get a certain amount of time for the movie to really make and that, and it costs more money to do the movie because you have to pay actors, the scenes and stuff. And, like, you got you got to have a lot of money to be able to do a movie. At least a book, the only thing you're really paying for is a publisher. Like, like and again, the book made itself. Like, I feel like it wouldn't be as much money. That, and I would like to be able to actually put more details into the book that I would be able to with the movie because the movie would be shorter. You know what I mean? So I would rather write a book about my life instead just so people can have more of an idea because they can read more, like, details and experiences and stuff that I've dealt with and stuff, I feel like, would be much better. Plus, I like reading, so I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with writing a book anymore. Like I said, I write, so you know. All right, number 12. Would you rather die happy in 10 years, die unhappy in 50 years? That's easy. I'd rather die happy in 10 years. Because, like I said, I like to live my life to the fullest, and I'd rather be happy when I die, you know? Like I said, whenever it's my time to go, it's my time to go. If I go in 10 years, which means I will be almost 31, 30 going on 31, I would be very happy with that. Because at least I know that I got to have 30 wonderful years of life. Because the thing is, people don't realize is that there's not a lot of people who make it to my age. There's not even people who make it to birth. Some kids die in the womb you know what I mean babies die like like instantly almost after getting pregnant with them and stuff and it's just sad because there's so many out here that would never get to experience the life that I've gotten to live yeah don't get me wrong 30 is a young age to die but at least I had that time that a lot of people didn't get to have and I'm blessed for that and living to 50 years when I'm unhappy, like, why would I want to be miserable for 50 years when I can be happy for 10 of them? You know what I mean? So I'd rather be dying happy with 10 years. Shorter but happier? I like that. At least I know I live my life to the fullest if I'm happy. And I am happy. Pie comes because I'm a happy person in general, so yeah. I feel like a lot of people are going to pick the, uh, the die happy in 10 years only because it's just like, that's a lot of years that a lot of people don't get. Number 13. Would you rather be a cute puppy, be an ugly human? That's the easiest one. Be the cute puppy. Puppies are adorable. And I'm already human. I don't like it. Animals are better. I'd rather be a dog. I'd rather be a puppy. At least I know I'm loved. I could be led by people. People are the worst, to be honest with you. So I would want a nice home. But I would be a puppy, easily. I don't even have to pause for this one. This one's too easy. Y'all better pick puppy, too. <laughs> Puppies are so cute. All right, this last one, number 14. Very last one, all right. Would you rather be able to understand animals, be able to read a human's mind? Animals, duh. Like, I own animals. Like, before she passed away, I had a dog. And then I have a cat and a turtle right now. But I had to have a cat and turtle recently. I would love to be able to know what they're saying to me. Like, it'd be so funny, like, to be able to actually have a conversation with the animals. Because I'm a big animal person. I love dogs. Uh, I love turtles and stuff. I like all kinds of animals. I'm not very that picky on certain ones. And I think it'd be absolutely, oops, sorry, absolutely cool to be able to speak to animals. Don't get me wrong, being able to read humans' mind is cool, but I would hate that at the same time because just like people could be saying a lot of things in their mind about other things and they could be saying a lot of nasty stuff or things about you like gossiping and stuff and you find out the true colors of people i mean don't get me wrong that'd be kind of nice to know who's like your real and who's not to you but at the same time like i think being able to understand animals would be so much cooler because understanding them would be amazing so like i can actually like sit here and know what my cat wants so I'm not having to sit here and play the guessing game with them. You know what I mean? Or any animal I own in the future. So I would definitely want to be able to understand the animals. I think that would be such a cool thing to have. I like how the questions went from hard 
too easy. Like, like, did you guys notice that? Like, how they went from harder questions to easy? All right. So, how many were you not able to choose? Zero. I answered all of them. Don't get me wrong. Some of them were really hard and I almost didn't answer, but I still answered them. All right. Let's see what the score means. Mm-mm. You're a very, very person that will take risks to do almost anything. Oh, awesome. That's cool. That's what I am. So if you're zero to three, that is what yours is. If you're four to seven, you are a realistic person who thinks a lot before taking a risk. Hey, now, hold up, hold up, hold up. I like how they say that if you have four and seven, I have a zero. But literally throughout the whole entire, (laughs) every time I make these videos, I always think logically about situations. Like I always find loopholes and stuff about how certain things could happen. It's not really me being brave, to be honest with you. It's more the fact like I'm actually thinking about the stuff. Like, you know, so I feel like they should switch that off because I feel like mine means I think about it. 8 to 11, you're a person that hardly takes any risk in life. You should try to take a little more risk. Man, they're calling y'all out. The people who have 8 to 11, they're calling you guys out. 12 to 14, you have to be kidding me. Why even take the test? Dang. Now, they really threw you guys under the bus. That's pretty sad. They call out the last two groups. That's pretty sad. They're like, man, y'all don't take enough risk. And then they're like, oh, why do you even take the test in the first place? Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like. And if I get to five likes, I will do uh, part three to this. Um, also, make sure you guys comment down below your guys' answers and why you chose those answers and stuff. I really wanted to know what you guys picked. Make sure you guys also subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications so you guys don't miss a video by me. So you guys can partake in any giveaways I have in the future. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm so in love with you.